Two years, $15.5 million and $8 million in guarantees. You finally have it, Saints fans. Your tight end, Jared Cook. It's official. We've officially got the official official. So now that means you get an official video of a few short plays showing how he can come into the Saints offense, have success, and what he really provides that wasn't there consistently with New Orleans last year from the position. Ben Watson was uh, up and down. He'd make a phenomenal catch, then have a you know a routine one go through his hands, and you know uh, it was obviously at the end of his career because he retired. And you know phenomenal player, love what he did for the team. But then you've also got Dan Arnold, Josh Hill behind him. You know Garrett Griffin. Is there really any confidence there? You had to address the position here in free agency, and they did. And we're not going to spend too much time looking around and talking on this one. Let's just go ahead and dive straight into a few plays. Let's do it. Anyway, five wide. What was the last time the Saints tight end was really good this play? Can I guess? Take a gander? No? Well, it's the same play. Right up the seam goes Jared Cook. Right into the end zone goes Jared Cook. And man, 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 we've been waiting for this. So let's mark him on your screen. Right here playing inside the wide position. He is the inside man in a trips. They're not in trips bunch. Keyword bunch. There's no bunch there. But we are in trips going against a Tampa 2 layout here for the Kansas City Chiefs. So you see the pre-snap they had that one deep. Now they've dropped back. And you're going to have two deep here and then an intermediate. And then you're going to attack here uh, for the um, Oakland Raiders. I'm not ready to say Las Vegas yet. There's still Oakland on the field. We see they're going to attack all up and down this place. Four seams. Four verts. Saints like this type stuff. Saints didn't have consistency on the inside where you put the tight end on this stuff. Look at Jared Cook just seamlessly, pun, run through this. Easy peasy. The athletic ability that he possesses is more than what you see in the position. I've described him as a mix between Ben Watson and Jimmy Graham in his prime. Jimmy Graham, young, 26, 27, with New Orleans. You know, I, you know, mm, did you see the little stutter there? Just enough to sell the route. Gosh, I like Jared Cook, man. He, he's not... He's not Rob Gronkowski in his prime, but, man, he does just enough. And watch how he sells us here and causes the defender to bite down. So he comes to the route, look how he breaks, and then look at this little shuffle, just a little bit like he's about to break in, and bam. Just, mm, look at that sell. Look at that. And then that opens up all this. Nuanced route running. This is the type of stuff that you're not seeing from Dan Arnold, Josh Hill, at least not Dan Arnold yet, and not in a Ben Watson who is not that point of his career. So. Just the, the nuanced route running, the understanding of the game, the athletic ability that he provides just in that one play alone, if that doesn't get Saints fans drooling. Lord knows everybody's been asking for a seam route from a tight end to be effective for quite some time. So that want to be the first play I showed everybody. He can play in line. He can block a little bit. But, man, the ability to do that right there. Let's go to another one. Next up on the list is an empty stadium. <laughs> but also, once again, Jared Cook and – you're going to see them do a lot of this. So he's playing that flex-type position, kind of lined up out wide, but reliability, see the quick little hands there, has the strength to play and make a positive gain out here. It's not huge. It's not a massive play, but it's consistency. Just enough to chip there, keep the defender from rushing on whether that might have been a green dog call or if it was just a straight delayed uh, pass rush. Either way, clears up just enough, and then look, attacks the sideline, gets a big positive gain there. Let's look at another one. Let's look at it from the other angle, actually, and then we'll look at another one. Now, I like him as a flex tight end lined up, but he can also line up inside. See how he really sells the route because he sells the block. He shapes up, uh, gets his shoulders square to the defender, and it looks like a block here. So that flat defender is going to drop back a little bit more, which helps open up the space, and he gets a big gain there, about 10 yards. And I think that's the type of thing. It's small, subtle things that he seems to understand and do pretty well. It's going to benefit New Orleans when they ask him to make these certain type of plays. Once again, split out wide, five wide. John Gruden likes that West Coast style. Well, so does that dude named Sean Payton. And, man, it's one of my favorite plays of the year. Spectacular catch, but watch the route here. It's going to look like we're running a little shield screen, but it's actually a wheel route. And it bites down. you got a natural rub here from the two slant patterns that are being run by the wide receivers. 
See the two little quick slants, makes a natural rub right there, and then right underneath goes Jared Cook. And then you see the athleticism, the athletic ability to get towards the sideline, parallel the line of scrimmage, and then turn up field. See how he sells it because he varies his speed? This is something we talk about in draft guides a lot of times with receivers who can show a variance in their speed to sell routes. That's exactly what it does there. It gives enough time for that pick to develop, which is legal. That is a legal pick. And, man, look at the catch because – Derek Carr does not deliver a fantastic pass here. He does have pass rush hounding down on him, but great job there by Jared Cook. Phenomenal play. I mean, is this just not something that you see Sean Payton running with the New Orleans Saints? I mean, this is just pure West Coast style of Sean Payton, aggressive, draw up something crazy and make it happen. Fantastic catch. Great hand-eye coordination there. And just the systems that Gruden runs, and we've I've mentioned before, and Sean Payton has mentioned that Gruden, you know, had some type of impact in Sean Payton's life coming up in terms of the coaching philosophy, the same style of West Coast tree we talk about. And Jerry Cook can provide that. Once again, selling routes. My favorite thing about him, I love his size, I love his athletic ability, but from a route running standpoint, look how well he'll sell things. Look at that double move. That is something you expect from you know a, a bigger wide receiver and Mike Detillier in his scouting report of Jared Cook years ago listed him hey he's a big wide receiver and th this is beautiful <laughs> if you can't tell I'm really excited about having Jared Cook in a Saints uniform and that's why I picked these plays because this is the type of stuff that Sean Payton is going to love to have make it easy for Drew Drew yes Drew is fantastic Hall of Famer but he's 40 make it easy on him don't make him have to do the hard pass any quarterback can make this one, and it's all due to that route running. See, he lines up basically as that traditional wide receiver, comes in, looks like he's selling a short slant, turns the entire hip, and that man just flipped on, man. It's a rotisserie chicken. Mm. I'm just going to shut up. Y'all watch the play. Look at it. Mm rotisserie chicken all right next one up look one more as you can tell i'm excited about having jerry cook on this team so prior to this i've gone through about 250 snaps of jared cook so far and you see a lot of consistency in terms of how he plays like him as a flex guy but also like what he can do mainly as a receiver and i think he can fight through contact well in terms of yards after catch he provides enough beef and bulk to be strong to you know tough to bring down i like him in terms of a nuanced route runner he can run ins outs digs curls hitches you know goes wheels i mean whatever i mean he he can really do it all from a tree standpoint now is he as effective in every single thing equally no he's not uh, i don't think that he's the super athlete for pivot routes or things like that but i don't know if you're going to run a ton of water or tight end screens with him but it doesn't matter. He does enough and knows how to operate around the field. You can tell he's an experienced player. And look at him coming from here, coming in line here in that flex side. Patience, and then bam, hit our route. Find the hole in the zone. You see he finds the sweet spot, something Michael Thomas does so well. And then get upfield and get a touchdown. I'm going to look at one more. Just, I, I lied. I said we're going to look at, you know what? I made a promise. That's it. I could watch Jared Cook all day because almost every one of his snaps – Leaves a positive impression. He's a good player. And I feel like he's one of those guys that you go look at the stat sheet and you see a good player, but you don't necessarily fall in love with him. And I think a lot of that is just where he was at at you know, different points of his career, where he's been with Oakland, short time with Green Bay, things like that. I think you're getting a very quality player in Cook. And let me pull up exact stats on them because I don't have them memorized. I've been watching the tape. But, yeah, the one we were with Green Bay, these were St. Louis from 13 to 15. That's before the Sean McVay era. That's not a good team. That's, you know, going back to the, yeah, that, that team. Then you had Tennessee before. He's never really had the opportunity to truly shine with an elite offense and an elite system. You can argue the one year of the Green Bay, that was an opportunity. He only played 10 games. But uh, his best years come with Oakland. And I think his best years will come with New Orleans. If you're a Saints fan, be excited about this one. This pick and the Malcolm Brown pick, I think, are two great quality you know, acquisitions for this team that did not cost them an arm and a leg. And that's how you have success. And that's how you build long-term success for your team. 
anyway, that's enough gushing about Jared Cook. We looked at a few plays. Uh, I might write an article to cover all the 250 snaps that I've watched, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Be excited. If you got questions, drop them down below. Yes, he can block. Is he fantastic? No. There's your short Swede about Candy Block. That's what you signed Josh Hill for. Who that? Mm-hmm.